Hi there and welcome to another Parker Adams Boat Sales video walkthrough tour. Now this walkthrough tour means a huge amount to me and for those of you that know me will know that the boat behind me called Grace which is a 2003 Fairline Phantom 40 is actually my own boat or at least it was and I've owned this boat for the last two years and what I've done to this boat is pretty extensive. So we bought the boat from the Mediterranean and it arrived on a low loader into RK's yard um, back in September 2020 and since then there almost is nothing in the boat that I haven't gone through, updated, upgraded, and basically put an enormous amount of love, care, and attention into. And so saying that a boat renovation is a labor of love has never been more true than this boat. Um, and actually to sell it has been a real, it's been a very, very tough thing for me to do. Um, I'll talk to you on another video about what I've bought next, um, but this boat is actually tomorrow going off to its new home in Torquay. I'm delivering the boat down to Torquay tomorrow. And what I want to do on this video is run through the whole boat, run through all the things that I've done to the boat and to bring her up to what I've tried to do with this, this boat is create basically a new Fairline Phantom 40. So it's as if it came out of the factory. I haven't gone with um, way out upholstery, different colors, different wall linings. I've tried to keep everything as original as possible, but updated. So it's got some of the very, very latest Raymarine navigation equipment on it. It's got aug augmented reality cameras, so you can see your waypoints on the screen in front of you. It's got cameras on the rear, so you can see the rear of the boat when you're docking or to keep an eye on the tender. And technology wise, loads of LED lighting, lots and lots of things, and I'll run through all of that. So I'm very, very excited to show you this boat. And I will also give a shout out as well during this video to the people who have helped um, the project along over the last couple of years. And I've worked with some absolutely fantastic suppliers and I will point those out as we go along. So first thing I'll do, if we start walking down the boat, when the boat came back from the Med, it was actually very, very yellow. And the reason for that is the UV damage that happens to a boat when it's out in the Mediterranean is quite significant. And and I used Dave Paxton from South Coast Yacht Care, and what he did is actually a five-stage polish on this boat, taking the hull back to basically as good as new. Um, and then what we did is we applied a ceramic coating to the hull, which then protected it from stopped it from yellowing afterwards. Now, this boat hasn't actually been washed for quite a long time. We've got a hose pipe band here at the moment. Um, it's hard to see, but I'll overlay a few videos here of when the work was done. But still, the boat has an incredible shine to it. Um, the water still beats straight off the boat um, and it's been a very very low maintenance boat um, in terms of um, looking after the polishing side of things. Um, so starting here some things I've done updated Fairline um, logos onto here so that had new stickers on it as I've mentioned all of the boat got ceramic coated we're just waiting for some new fender socks to arrive so these will all match in as well um, if I grab the, in fact, we'll do a mixture on this one for me grabbing the GoPro and otherwise. Um, on the bow, I put new sun pad cushions onto the bow and then JB created a sun pad cushion, uh, sorry, cover for me and that then straps onto the guardrails. And in fact, that cover's so tight, I actually used that as a sun pad without taking the cover off. Um, in terms of the rest of the um, the outside of the boat, it's fair, pretty much kept as standard. We replaced the wipers, put new wiper blades on. You can see the augmented reality camera just up there. Um, the navigation lights got changed for LED lights, and a lot of people think they're on all the time, but they're not there. That's just how they, they look. They're very, very clear and crisp. And then LED lights both up at the rear, so forward light and rear stern light as well. All the covers were replaced. JB um, put these new covers onto me. Each of these covers is segmented, so you can take each panel out or leave it all in, and it all goes into a track around the top, which makes it very, very simple to do. You can just see um, tucked up in the top there, that's the rear-facing Raymarine camera, which is really useful. Um, the new owner has asked that there's a um, high-field tender that's been fitted. So just in the last couple of days, Rib Shop have um, supplied and fitted this high-field tender. And you can see underneath, um, I fitted Bluefin um, LED lighting which um, turns on at night for underwater lights and you might just about see it down there I also fitted a stern thruster which makes maneuvering this boat incredibly easy it's had an upgraded bow thruster so it's got an SE100 um, bow thruster on it and an SE100 stern thruster so the ability to just move the boat completely sideways is very very easy when it comes down to uh, maneuvering 
all of the teak on the boat. It was very, very um, tired on the bathing platform and also in the cockpit. So all of the teak got removed um, and Thai from Elite Teak um, fitted new teak throughout the whole of the bathing platform and also into the cockpit space. Um, taking that teak up was, that was probably the hardest job on the whole boat, making sure I didn't damage any of the edges whilst chiseling it up. That was, that was quite hard work that. But the end effect is, is really, really special. So as we step on board the boat, um, literally as I see things that I've done I'll point it out. Um, just down on the sides, there's one down there, one there, and then throughout the cockpit, and we'll see those in a second, I've got little spot LED lights. Uh, they're white LED lights and it really looks fantastic at night. Coming into the cockpit space, um, all of this teak is obviously all replaced. Um, all of the steps here um, were renovated and all of the upholstery um, when I first got the boat it had very very dated old-fashioned stripy upholstery and that's been replaced with a silver tex as uh, that's a lie it's been replaced with a uh, diamante um, silvery grey and with an indigo blue pipe on it and that's the same up on the flybridge as well um, in terms of the um, I'll take this I'm again grab this here um, in terms of access to the Lazarex, of course, what I'll do on this, not just talk about this boat, but also talk about the Phantom 40 as well. And um, one thing I love about the Phantom 40 is you have access to both the engines and also this huge Lazarette space from this cockpit area. So there's no need to take up the inside cabin to get to the engines. Inside, um, I've updated all the lighting down here to LED lighting, um, and we've also replaced cutlass bearings, um, replaced all of the shaft seals on this boat, and it's obviously been serviced and, and incredibly well maintained. Down in here we have a generator that's recently been fitted. So there's a Fisher Panda, Panda generator there that Osmotech at Hamble Point have fitted. Um, and there's a nice amount of space down here in the Lazarette. And as you can see, it's all been updated to LED lighting as well. So that really, really shines through. Because the light's fading, I'm going to start off by going upstairs onto the flybridge. So going up onto the flybridge, um, mentioned all of these teak steps have been renovated and then up onto the flybridge I've created, I should have tucked that in, um, I've put synthetic teak throughout the whole of the decking here and you've got this um, diamante upholstery that runs the whole way around here and there's a lovely big U-shaped seating space. This seat here is a bit of a chaise long, That's, that stays there or it moves back into that position to give an extra seat. And then nestling under here, you've got a uh, new barbecue grill, you've got hot and cold water, and then you've got a new Dometic fridge down there as well, which keeps your beers cool. In terms of the dash, I replaced the, um, the slightly dated um, powder coated dash with a silver dashboard, new Fairline wheel, and then this is the start of all this lovely Raymarine equipment. You can see the camera there is just nestling on the stern, so for manoeuvring you can see how close you are from everything. And then you've got this Raymarine um, I-70 display and a P-70 for the, char for the um, autopilot as well. All the VHFs on board the boat are also wireless, so that just sits there into a charging port and pops back on just like that. I mentioned obviously we've got the, the bow and stern thrusters, that's all been fitted in. Your engine start stops and of course your Volvo Penta EDC controls. All of these lights are here, I've updated to LED lighting behind the Volvo Penta date gauges, so that provides a really nice glow at night as well, but it's not too, too much in your face. And then in terms of the Raymarine radar, on the back there you've got a Quantum 2 Doppler radar, which is incredible definition in the evenings. Courtesy lighting around here, I've got spot LED lighting. So there's, I think there's six lights up here on the flybridge, which illuminates this whole area really, really beautifully. So the flybridge hasn't been touched too much, but you can see just updated upholstery and all presented in really, really nice condition. So if I go back downstairs again, just pass the camera back over. And now we'll go on inside. Now inside, um, just to remember what I've done in here, is try and keep the internal of this boat very much looking like it did when it came out of the factory. So what that means is all new wall linings, ceiling linings, all of the upholstery all the way around here has all been replaced. And this has been replaced with a Dolce material, MJM um, boats, so Martin Deuce, the original Fairline trimmer has done all of the upholstery work on this boat and it looks fantastic. So it's a faux leather, it's not a real leather, but it means it's a little bit warmer to touch. Um, it doesn't have that leather smell when you walk inside it, and the effect is absolutely superb. 
The carpet is a fully synthetic carpet. I've got children, so it was important to me that I had a machine scrubbable carpet. And all the carpets on board the boat were done by Ed Engel, again, an ex-Fairline guy. They've been beautifully fitted and I've been really, really impressed with that. Now, one of the things I didn't need to do too much on this boat was the woodwork. The woodwork was actually really good. So this gloss cherry effect down below has not needed much work. I did have a French polisher who helped me out for just one day just to remove a few marks from the, um, from the wood, but actually fundamentally that hasn't really needed to be touched. Just up here in the entertainment side of things, I've replaced the television with a, I think it's a 27 or 28 inch LG smart TV. And um, there's a new fridge which has gone into there. And then you've also in here got a fusion radio, uh, which is also Bluetooth and that supplies um, power to the speakers, which are upgraded Pioneer speakers internally and then fusion speakers externally. Just underneath here, I've got an Alexa, which um, connect and also turns on some smart LED lights I've got and I've got a Bose sound bar under there which provides fantastic sound from the LG. Something else that I did, it's a little thing but the, the boat is fitted with air conditioning and just inside this hatch here I actually moved the air conditioning. It looks a bit of a, a dirty solution but previously the air conditioning vent actually came out the top there and where there you've got a big mesh on it and I found that the flow was really really poor so I just added the air conditioning vent into the side there and that pumps out very very strongly into the rest of the cabin. As you can see all of the wood on the boat is presented very very nicely and then up into the, I'll start off with the helm, helm position. So the helm position, again, I've kept this quite traditional. So it's still got the, the walnut effect dash and the original Fairline wheel. But then you've got this stunning Raymarine equipment here. So just to give you a very quick taster, for example, um, if you click on the video feed, that's then the stern facing camera. If I just click here and go towards the bow camera, this will then load up the augmented reality and you can see AIS overlays have appeared on the screen there just to show um, where all the different boats are around. Very, very quick, easy to use um, system. And this is twin Axiom 12 plus systems on here. And I'm running Navionics and Lighthouse charts as well. You've got the latest operating systems. So you can see a picture of the boat behind there. And then this is just loading up the charts. In fact, I just, I've recently done an update, so I just need to let it know where which charts to use. But all the systems all are totally interfaced here um, between the flybridge and this downstairs. And then you've also got the Doppler radar, which just simply taps on there and then connect just to put that into transmit mode. Quickly spins up. This is all Wi-Fi led. And there's the Doppler radar. If we come around onto this side, you can see bow and stern thruster controls. You've got an additional um, controller here, which controls the chart plotter. So if you're going along and you're at sea and it's a bit rough, then you've just got a full control here. Um, you've got a Raymarine portable VHF there. Control for the um, searchlight, upper and lower. And then this is one of my favorite gadgets on board the boat. You've got wireless control here for the bow and the stern thruster. So I put this around my neck and particularly when I'm shorthanded, just press the button on the bow thruster press the button on the stern thruster and everything works beautifully. So that's it for the dash. And then just to talk about LED lighting, you can see if I turn that on there, that's all lit up there with a bright white LED lights rather than the traditional red, but actually it doesn't affect your night vision at all. But to be fair, if I was driving the boat at night, then I would always be up on the flybridge. So let's now come back down into the galley area. So in the galley area, the, the galley is a really nice size on the Phantom 40. Probably my only criticism from using this boat as a family would say that you only have one um, sink and it'd be quite useful to have a double sink, but that's something which is obviously a compromise on space. But you have a three burner, uh, sorry, a two burner a gas hob. That shows how much cooking I do on board this boat. You have a two burner gas hob there and then lots and lots of storage on the Phantom 40. So really big deep drawers here. And these pull-out cupboards were really useful, good, nice racking systems. You've got a twin bin, so a bin and a recycling, and then a large um, Dometic fridge, which of course was all new and replaced as well. Uh, the oven was original, that's a gas oven, but one thing that I did have done to it was I did um, have this edge here refinished because that had got very, very um, yellowed from the heat of the oven and a French polisher brought all that back to life. And then probably my favorite cupboard, that's your drinks cupboard. So all of your um, cocktail, um, cocktail making equipment uh, would go in there as well. Now, the floor, um, if I lift up the, the hatch here, so the hatch that we've got down here, if I lift that up, now, 
down here, there's lots of space here. You can see there's a big air conditioning unit in there, but you've still got lots of space for bottles. There's a flare box there as well. And that is all, yes, yeah, it's, it's a nice simple place just to put bottles and things. The flooring on this, this was all replaced. And um, the flooring here, um, it's actually a Formica floor. So I had a brilliant guy called Jamie Raxall and he helped me out on the flooring here. And what he did is he actually um, lifted these original nosings. So where you've got the extra one, one mil of Formica, all the nosings were all lifted up so it all looks totally inset and the effect is absolutely fantastic. Um, I popped another um, courtesy LED lighting in there so at night that illuminates this galley area. Controls here for the air conditioning unit and controls here for the heating system. Right, if we carry on through. Now, interesting enough, that's showing it as being a very blue light, but actually it's very white. Uh, I think it's just the, can, the, um, the way that the camera shows it. But I fitted LED lighting which goes underneath the beds in here. In uh, fact, that's overpowering a little bit there. Perhaps a better effect there. So LED lighting through underneath both of the beds there. And in the Phantom 40, of course, you've got a large wardrobe space, which is just in there. And you can get an infill, but I never did because I've got two young children, so this was perfect for the boys in here. If we then look into this, the day heads, um, again, brand new flooring fitted throughout. Um, that grate was all sanded back, treated. And in here, this is a really nice full size shower. Um, it always amazes people how much space you've got in these showers. I put a new shower head on as well. Um, and then uh, these were hard to find. The original Fairline ones are actually rounded and they got very, very um, pitted, but I managed to work out that the hands grow um, lotion <laughs> bottle and then I guess that's toothbrush holder. They actually fitted perfectly into the old slots. So they were replaced. And this has now got fresh water flush toilets as well. And they're really, really silent as well as having the heating outlet in there as well. If we move forward into the, the master cabin, you can see LED lighting again. That can all change colour as well. I've got an app on my phone, so you can have it red, blue, green, any colour that you want under there in different brightnesses. And all of this trim here, this was all replaced. That's the same colour as the cockpit. Um, all of this trim was done as well. And I had brand new mattresses, both in this cabin and also in the rear cabin. Um, again, fitted by MJM Boats by Martin Deuce. Um, cupboard space in the Phantom 40 is good. You've got a large cupboard in here. You've got an extra air conditioning unit in here, so it's actually got three aircon units this boat, so you've got an extra one here in the, in the master cabin. And then, of course, you also have another heads in here. Fresh water flush toilet once again, brand new flooring throughout. Um, the grate was also refurbished. Um, all the wall linings were done in this cabin as well. And again, you've got a full size wraparound shower. All the wall linings, um, all the way across here, were all replaced. Basically, nearly all the wall linings were done across the whole boat. All of these, these new nosings were put in. Um, the only cabin which I didn't replace the wall lines because they just didn't need it, was in this spare cabin here. The carpets, as I say, were all replaced. Um, and there's another, curtis, there's another LED courtesy light that I've put in there, which at night just throws a nice um, evening glow into there. In terms of the distribution panel, this is all pretty straightforward, fairly standard fair line. Um, but the, the biggest extra here is, of course, you now have a generator, which is just fitted into here. Um, everything else is controlled really, really nicely. Your bow thruster, your auxiliary control, um, your passerelle, everything is controlled through there. This table does drop down and that provides an extra bed. So you can comfortably sleep six friends on board this boat if you wanted to. Um, and this table was also totally repaired. Um, all of these edgings were taken off because they'd all bubbled up with the heat out in the med. So that table was all repaired. But again, I wanted to keep it original. So I went to probably more expense on replacing that, or sorry, on repairing that table than I would have done if I'd replaced it. Um, but the effect is really, really nice. Curtain wise, we put new curtains in and then we've got a couple of cushions to match. The boat did look a little bit more homely a few weeks ago when I had some light lamps around. Um, but as I mentioned, we're delivering the boat tomorrow to Torquay. So all of our personal effects have now been taken off the boat. Um, and she's pretty much ready to go. So I hope that's been an enjoyable walkthrough tour. Everyone who knows me has known that this boat has been my absolute pride and joy for the last couple of years. Um, most of the work that I've done in terms of the cosmetic bits and bobs, I've done myself. Uh, which has taken many, many hours, but I've loved to do it and really bring this boat back to life. 
all of the other suppliers I've used have been fantastic and I want to thank them so much for their time um, and efforts in bringing this Fairline Phantom 40 back to life. But I also want to say congratulations to John, um, taking the boat to Torquay tomorrow, can't wait for the journey and he's got a cracking boat which I'm going to miss hugely. But thanks as always for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this walkthrough tour of Grace. She's been a very special boat to me and I hope you've enjoyed all of the improvements that I've done to her and I look forward to seeing you on the next video for a boat that we've got for sale. Many thanks.